So the way we think is, we, we think in terms of three to five years. So beyond that, it becomes hard to forecast, particularly with the, um, the economy and the world, the way it's changing at the moment. But you've got to look, you've got to look further, longer term than just the, the near term, which a lot, of, a lot of the focus on markets is. So when you think in that, that way, you know, three to five year time frame, it forces you to think about the quality of the business and the durability of those earnings. And so that's what we're really looking for. We're looking at businesses and we're looking out three to five years. What would be the valuation on the business based on our forecast of earnings? And then you do an IRR and bring that back and work out the return that you'd generate if you were to invest in that business. And we're typically looking for a return of around 10 to 15% per annum. Obviously there's risk to that, so you have to, you have to adjust for risks in terms of whether you, you buy or not. But that's the kind of um, process that we go through. So you're looking for resiliency of earnings, you know, all the typical things, barriers to entry, um, quality of management, um, balance sheet, all those typical things that, that, that we look for. And we, we put a big emphasis on risk. So um, when we're looking for businesses, we're not necessarily looking to buy the business that has the highest potential return. We're looking for the business that has a good return with a very low risk. So it's that risk adjusted return, if you like, with keeping in mind that 10 to 15% focus. It's a business that was really badly affected by COVID. So advertising pretty much stopped, you know, across pretty much all mediums. And it had some debt on its balance sheet. So it had to raise equity earlier this year. And that's the point at which we bought in. So at the, at the equity raising at nine cents, it's now around 17 cents or, so, or thereabouts. Um, so advertising is coming back. They actually recently updated the market and said that their sort of second quarter revenues are only likely to be down between 10 and 15%, or well, that they were down more like 30% in the first quarter. So you're seeing that starting to come back. They have, as I said, there's about 50% of their business that's exposed to regional markets. You have that benefit of the ag, ag markets improving. Uh, as well as the mining industry being relatively resilient through this period. Um, so they do have some, some tailwinds behind them. They're generating cash as well uh, at the moment. So um, the balance sheet is getting better through time. And it's one of the few ones that are a reopening trade play by which the market cap is still well below what it was before COVID. And I'm talking about market cap obviously because of the dilutionary effect of capital raisings. You have to look at market cap rather than share price and it is down still around 40% from where it was. So um, that's like, surprisingly, that's actually quite unique. A lot of the reopening trade stocks are up at market caps near where they were pre-COVID. So they're pricing in a recovery, whereas Southern Cross Broadcasting is very much not pricing in a recovery. So you've got that, that, that valuation overlay that appeals to us in this, in this stock.